Hello, Chris Betcher here, and I have a little tip for you in iMovie. Uh, I thought I knew iMovie pretty well, but someone showed me this the other day, and I was amazed because it's a huge time saver if you want to do this sort of thing. There are times when you want to create a uh, like a, a slideshow, um, and you want the slides to actually change exactly on the beat. So uh, it can be a bit tedious to do that the long way because you basically have to listen to the music and trim down each one to fit the music exactly. I'm going to show you a little shortcut. I'm going to start here with a new project and when I make the new project, if I just go file new project, in the settings uh, I want to make sure that I'm not adding any automatic effects. So you've got all these different uh, effects here, uh, transitions between slides, I, I don't want them so I make sure that's turned off. And also just probably I don't want a theme for this, I just want to set it to none. So with those settings I'm going to hit create and it gives me a new project with nothing in it. Now, normally you'd put the photos in, or normally the way I used to do it was put the photos in and then put the music in and then try and make everything fit together. It's a much better way to do it and that is you start with the music. So I'm just gonna click on uh, my music uh, browser down here and I'm gonna go and pick a piece of music that's got a bit of a beat to it. So this one, Cha Cha Kuba, for example, and I'm gonna take that and drag it up into the project. And there it is there. Now, if you've used iMovie, you know that uh, if you have a series of visuals and you add a soundtrack and music to play in the background on it, it will in fact only play the music for as long as you've got visuals. As soon as the visuals run out, the music stops playing, even if it's only halfway through the song. And that's just the way our movie works. What we're doing here is we're, we're taking that and when we put the music into an empty project, the project effectively has, effectively has no length. Okay, It's just a piece of music that goes for zero time. But if I click on this little thing here and go to the clip trimmer, I'll just move this uh, music panel out of the way. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so you see down here we have the, um, the WAV file for this piece of music. And what I didn't know is if you play this piece of music and tap the M key, you can actually put in beat markers. So I'm just going to start the music playing and then with my finger on the M key, I'm just going to tap out some rhythms. Okay, so let's try this. So what I've done there, you see those little dots that appear on the screen there, they're actually beat markers. If I say done, and go back up there, it, nothing appears to have changed, except when I now go to my photos, and I've just got a pretty random assortment of photos here, so I'm just gonna just go and grab them all. Okay, it looks like that. I'm gonna take these photos and drag them up and drop them onto the music clip. Now, the computer goes through and adds those still images to the photos. By the way, this only works with still images, doesn't work with video. Uh, or I haven't found a way to make it work with video. If you find one, let me know. But it goes and adds those still images to the project. And what's neat is if you just look at each one, the start of each image coincides with a beat marker. It's like that. Now, I'm just going to maybe take all of those and see if I can just crop them to fit. I just think it'll look better that way. There you go. So, hopefully fit now. Now, if I go and play that, watch what happens to this as the music plays. wasn't so great on the beat but you get the idea the, the slides will actually change wherever you put a beat marker and it just does it automatically so it's a really simple process to get that sort of that catchy uh, very quick changing uh, imagery to the beat of some music